Stick around to the end to see how you can save 15% on your next fine, fine Apple game microphone. Hey, what's up guys? Daniel here in the tech studio, your one-stop shop for affordable tech. Fine, fine sent me their latest gaming microphone. So let's get into it. All right. So the fine, fine Apple game USB microphone pronounced fine, fine specifically by fine, fine, even though there's only one N in the name, I'll be using the mic for this whole video. So if you notice any difference in the sound quality, then let me know in the comments below. And in it, we have the most obvious bit RGB It's not gaming unless it has RGB quote, good news. We got USB-C 192 kilohertz sampling rate. So this technically records high definition audio, only a cardioid pickup pattern. So no extra sound signatures here, volume control and touch mute button, which honestly should be the standard for mute buttons on mics like these Mac, iOS, Android, and windows compatible plug and play. So no headaches with drivers. So that's a plus. And it comes in a shock mount and with a detachable pop filter and the pop filter has a personality. Look at that. And all of this can be yours for $47.99. But wait, there's more. Stick around to the end of the video and see how you can get 15% off by switching to Geico. <laughs> now we can't talk about this mic without talking about the design. This thing honestly is one of the favorite parts of my setup. On Zoom, I've gotten plenty of compliments on it. It's great. I love the changing light gradient here and I find myself getting distracted sometimes just watching it change colors. It's great. I kind of wish I could choose the RGB, but that's not even a nitpick. That's just a nice to have. And the smiley face. When's the last time your tech came with a personality? Huh? Just look at it staring into your soul. <laughs> on top of the looks, this thing is just functionally great. My favorite part is the mute button that you just have to touch. No more fumbling with the mic, trying to find the mute button and try to press it hard enough and thereby making it super loud for whoever is listening to you. Just gotta give the guy a little boop and he's muted. No fuss, no drama. It's chill. One thing I am not a fan of is the gain knob on the bottom. There is no label or I don't know, maybe some LEDs to indicate there's even a knob down there. I thought this thing was defective at first because the gain was all the way turned down and I couldn't hear anything. I was like, oh my God, they sent me a broken mic. And more annoying, there's no way to check where your gain is at other than lifting its skirt and checking underneath. Feels a bit rude. Maybe not lifting a skirt, but I already said it. Whatever. Who cares? Okay. The only bit that matters, how does it sound? Eh, pretty good. I've been using this J lab talk go review below the like button in my review. I talk about how much I love this mic and other people do too. I've gotten so many compliments on this mic. It holds its own against microphones twice the price. So the Ampla game and the JLab Talk Go are both the same price. So let's see how they sound. I'll record myself on Zoom and then again, just normally. So finally, we have the JLab Talk Go. I wouldn't be surprised if it all sounds the same, but we got to do it for science. I've been using this mic for like a month now for meetings. And I've never had a complaint about clarity or anything like that. And here I am with the fine, fine Amplicane microphone. And here's my prepared mic check. Okay. <clears throat> Croissant. Croissant. Jimmy's mom. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye. If you want to hear what the JLab Talk Go sounds like, go watch my full review for that mic or just about any other video for the past three months and uh go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss another video yeah thank you as for the ampli game you've been hearing me this whole time in zoom meetings i haven't had a single issue gaming is the same thing too 
no issues at all. And I can confirm it does connect to a PS5. Only thing that would be nice to have that the JLab has is an aux port to hear yourself and more sound patterns like stereo. Honestly, I'd say, yeah, great sound quality, dope RGB design, comes with a shock mount and a pop filter, which most other mics do not. There isn't much not to like here, so definitely check it out if you can. Oh, oh, you're still waiting for your 15% off. My bad, my bad, don't worry. So, what you gotta do? Follow the link in the description below and use code AMPLAGAME. Get 15% off your purchase on Amazon. Oh yeah, and that code expires December 20th at midnight. So, get on it. Alright, so, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.